Hello, Cyberpunk 2077 freaks of nature who love to play this game you love to hate. We want to simplify installing the Cyber Engine Tweaks mod for you today, which is going to uh, make the game run better and give you access to the console. Uh, there are people who like to use hotkeys. We're not going to cover that today. This is just about getting it installed as simply and quickly as possible. So, you've installed Cyberpunk or you already are playing Cyberpunk. You're going to right click on uh, the Cyberpunk uh, game in your Steam and you're going to go to uh, Manage. You're going to go to Browse Local Files. And then down here, you're going to see that's flashing. You're going to bring that up. Now we're in the local files. So now we're going to minimize that. And we've got the local files for the game. You're going to go to nexusmods.com. You're going to enter Cyber Engine Tweaks. Uh, hopefully we'll be putting the link in the description of the video. Um, you have to join uh, the Nexus, which is free and easy to do. It just takes a few seconds. Then you're going to uh, go to the file section and you're going to do a manual download, which looks like this. You're going to do slow download. As you can see, it started a timer. And then whatever browser you're using, wherever your downloads appear, whether it's down here, up here, or over here. In our case, it's over here. So you can see the download pops up. You can open this up. Boom. There you go. So now, as long as you had a program that read zip files or dot RAR files, that's R as in Ralph, A, R as in Ralph, RAR files. Some of you I know don't know what, what those are, so I'm trying to exp explain it well enough. So we'll minimize that. And now to install the mod is very simple. Okay, the mod is this little bin folder. And you're just going to drag it and drop it right into your Cyberpunk 2077 folder. Okay, and watch what happens. Okay, you, nothing. It didn't show us anything. But look at this. We're going to open the bin folder. We're going to open X64. And now we've got a plugins folder, which wasn't there before, that has Cyber Engine Tweaks and Cyber Engine Tweaks.asi. Uh, we also notice that we have some new files in here. What they are is the global license and version.dll. And you can find the, all these uh, files by double clicking bin double clicking X64 and then there's everything that's that was included in the mod okay so you can confirm so now your mod is properly installed now if you had the, the mod uh, uh, earlier version of it installed and CD Projekt Red upgraded the game the mod author upgraded the mod you need to uninstall the mod uh, to, before you reinstall the newer version that's what the mod author has recommended that's what you should do and to do that all you need to do is get rid of version DLL, license, global, double click plugins, get rid of plugins, and then you can install the mod simply as I showed you by just dragging and dropping the bin folder into the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 folder, which as you can see, it's going to be whatever volume you chose, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Cyberpunk. But we're going to not even bother with that because we're going to get there by doing the Right click on the game, go to manage, go to browse local files, and then you're there. So now your mod's installed. We want to use the mod. So we're going to fire up the game. And what you should know is when you, when you install this mod and you know it's installed correctly, the first thing that's going to happen when the game loads is you're going to get a little box that opens up uh, asking you to bind a key for the Cyber Engine Tweaks. Uh, and there it is. Uh, CET, which is Cyber Engine Tweaks, first time setup. Please bind some key combination for toggling overlay. Uh, you don't need a key combination. All you need is one key, and you can make it whatever you want. I make it the tilde key because I've been gaming for decades, and I'm used to the tilde key bringing up the uh, console for me. So you click on this with your mouse once, and then bind whatever key you want. In this case, we're doing the the uh, tilde key. The tilde key is located right above your tab key and left of your number one key. And we want to get rid of this. Okay, there we go. Now, when you bring up the console, the first thing you're going to do is go to settings. And you're going to turn off skip start menu and suppress intro movies. This is going to make it so when you fire up the game, you just get to go 
right to the right to here. You know, n- none of that sturdy thirty crap that guy's babbling about. So we go to uh, consoles and ask it to save. You hit apply. So as you can see, our settings are saved. And then click back on console. Uh, key bindings and hotkeys is over here. I don't I don't use that stuff. So you have to look at another video if you want to figure out all that. Uh, this mod will enable you to use uh, all the other mods that there are for the game without Cyber Engine tweaks. You're not going to be modding this game at all. So we want to fire up the game. So we're going to do just that. We're going to go to load game. And we're going to scroll down and go. We want to go to a level six. We want to be an early level. And we're just going to show you some of the functionality of the console and explain uh, why this is going to help. Okay. So, uh, you've just started the game, uh, or, or you've been playing the game. Uh, CD Projekt Red came out with an update. Uh, they made the Raven, for example, the Raven Cyberdeck now requires a street cred level of 40. You're not going to be at street cred level 40 until you're like level 28 or 30 or, or, or more, you know. Getting up to street cred level 40 is not going to be something you're going to do at an earlier level. Now, the the, the cyber deck that I'm talking about, the uh, uh, legendary Raven, used to be available at, at level uh, street cred 14. So that frustrated a lot of people. You know, if, if they wanted to jack it up to, say, level 20 or 25, okay. But they jacked it up to 40, and that's pissing a lot of people off. And that's not the only thing. There's also the, uh, the Mantis Blades, you know. You, you can't get them as easy, and when you, when you get them, when you get them, you, you got to uh, have a... A higher street cred than you used to, a higher level than you used to. Uh, so the nice thing about the console is that you can pop it open. Now you go to your browser and you're going to use this website. You're going to go to Google. And you're going to type in Cyber Engine Tweaks Wiki and hit enter. It comes right top of the page. Cyber Engine Tweaks Welcome. Okay, and then you're going to go down to me. It's going to go to Overlay. How do I? Then you're going to go down to list item spreadsheet. That's going to open this list. And as you notice, this is a full item list. And where do we see full item list? Right down here, full item list. Right to the right of full item list is skill book codes, outfit sets, crafting components, legendary cyberware, quick hacks, iconic weapons, vehicles, and miscellaneous uh, commands links. Now. Vehicles is nice because the vehicle they give you is crap, and eventually you lose it and you don't have a vehicle, and you can just give yourself a bike at the beginning. Now, if you want to give yourself Jackie's bike, hey, you can do that, but you can give yourself some other bike, etc. Or you can give yourself, you know, the car, my favorite car, the Type 66 Javelina. You can give yourself that in the game. Uh, I will show you that. I'll give myself the, the Javelina. You have to right-click, copy, okay, and we're trying to right-click is your command. Let's go in full item list. So you can see you've got your hash ID and your command IDs. These are the command IDs. You do not uh, select and then and then copy. You have to right click to copy these commands. So we've done the car. We're going to go into the game. Now as you can see, when we hit the tilde key or whatever key you chose to bind to make the console come up, it puts it in the little box. You want to delete that. And then you control V. Yeah, and, and this here is your, your box down here for where you can enter text. So you use Control V to paste it in, and you type, you hit enter. Okay, now let's exit. And now we should have the car. We're going to hit V, and there it is. Type 66 Javelina. I'm going to pull that up and bring that over. And the thing that's special about this car is that when you hit the gas on a turn... Uh, it, it'll, it'll take you, it, it, see that? Look at that. I didn't even crash into that corner. You know, there's a lot of corner crashing in this game that's really frustrating. So, uh, you can't get the painting anymore and do the painting cheat, so you want money, right? So, you hit Control F, and that brings up Find in Sheet, as you see right here. So, instead of bringing up a Find in Document or Find on Page, which would be, like, at the lower here or up here somewhere... This is a specific uh, uh, tool that was created by the mod author. So you're going find in sheet. And you're going to type in money. Okay. And it, it doesn't bring up money right away. So you just hit enter. 
okay and then items money there it is okay but look what it did we're all the way out here on miscellaneous info as you can see and here's your hash ID category name quality well how do I get money in there there's a little bar down here that scrolls you around to where you get back to the command ID where you can just right click for items money which is a default of money one as you can see I'm gonna go back in here we're gonna delete the tilde as you can see right down here the little tilde key every time you open and close the console it's bringing up a tilde key so clear that out you're gonna paste with control V you're gonna change that one to you know 1000 for instance you can change it to a million if you want okay and then you're gonna look at your money okay we've got 39,000 currently now let's do it again I'm gonna hit the up key see that you use the up up arrow keys and down arrow keys it's gonna bring up stuff you recently typed isn't that convenient so we're going to hit enter for money a thousand and we had 36,000 now we have 40,000 so sometimes you will see in the right of the screen uh, over here it will come up and tell you that you've gotten the money sometimes it doesn't do that you can only confirm it by looking at your inventory and looking at your money okay uh, you can give yourself uh, uh, as you can see you can give yourself uh, crafting components very convenient get yourself some quick hacks uh, legendary cyberware one of the important things my friend uh, said I should point out to you is that uh, let's say one of the items we were talking about was that Raven so we're gonna go back to the full item list we're gonna type in Raven see what we get we got two of ten yeah Raven can change so we're gonna scroll through the list and I see it coming on where is it it is there that's it that's it right there I think game added Raven legendary that's it right there okay so you want to right click it now this item normally costs you uh, 40 street cred okay but as you can see we only have 12 street cred which isn't even enough for the the 14 that it used to require so we're gonna bring up the console we're gonna backspace to get rid of those tildes we're gonna paste it in there we're going to give ourselves the legendary raven okay i'm going to close this out i'm going to hit escape we're going to go back in and hit the cyber oh, wait, i can't see the cyberware got to go to a, a ripper dock so we're going to hit our map and there's a ripper dock right there so we're going to mark the map for that ripper dock okay and let's go over and see that ripper dock and chop our body up and oh. manipulate and uh install new new things oh whoops okay there we go so and look there it is okay and as you can see it doesn't have any requirements so we install it and we're off and running now if you don't want to cheat and install this thing earlier on in the game you can install it whenever you want to install it you know and happy day you know and there it is and you, you see this character's level six as a street credit credit 12 and it's the same with the Mantis Blades. Any item, or, or the Lizzie. I like to give myself a Lizzie at level one, okay? I'm out of the gate playing this game. I want a Lizzie right away. I don't want to wait for it. It's just, I want to play with it, you know? Uh, that's what she said.